breaking and always fixing out here on Rancho Fiesta. We're good to go. Chainsaw ready. Virgin, when it comes down to cutting trees, Jeremiah is not familiar. He's never cut a tree down in his whole life. Sitting down home, nowhere to go. Guess I'll just start a show. Working from home, got a bunch of dogs, and my girl summer is really fine. Yeah, drinking all the drinks makes everything right. It's party time. Yeah. You can get up in there. Need some stuff. Steps. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode three of Party Time. I'm going to take you down to Dalton, Georgia for a social distancing concert we did. My band's with me. They've been quarantined with me for a long time, running our little quarantine family. So for this episode, I have a real life party animal. He's my co-host. His name's Bruce. I named him uh, Bruce after Batman, Bruce Wayne, because he's kind of got the Batman thing going. You think? I'm Batman. Getting ready for the show. That's my guitar dirt right there. Awesome. That's all the other guitars. We're getting the van ready to go on the road because we haven't been in the van in a long time. Goodbye to the old look. In with the new look. The van is cool now. Kind of. It's either more creepy or less creepy. <laughs> but I think it looks good. I'm just looking in the engine like I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing sometime. Ain't nothing like working on vans and drinking beer. All right, how's that, Jeremiah? Oh, beer, yeah. Oh, good. Jeremiah's always in bright colors, so you can send him direct, direct messages on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here rehearsing for um, our show tomorrow in Georgia. It's a power acoustic, and this is what we call power acoustic. It's not very acoustic, but it's powerful. <laughs> AC's not working right now. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, you know, we just, we're not even out in Nashville. So it's gonna be a long day. We made it through our backstage area. Let's go six feet apart, guys, six feet apart, bro. We just got to Dalton, Georgia, and we're hanging out at our green room. And, uh, I just burp, excuse me. And uh, Terry. How you feeling, Terry? Very damn sweet. Tell you what. How about our first show after the quarantine? Yeehaw! Hey, come. Somebody needs to come down here. You can. Oh, you gotta go. Yeah, you're on guard. What am I gonna do with this guy? I'll figure it out. You want to? <laughs> hey. It smells like pee. Yeah. Go to Bruce's store? Yeah. Get some wet wipes too. Dude wipes for Bruce. Bruce. Oh man, we really gotta pressure wash the house. Look at all them stink bugs. There's probably 50 of them. Can you see them on the ridge line of the roof? See that little dot up there? That's a stink bug. He's just like on the it's like Lion King. Stink bugs are from Japan, the ones that came to Tennessee, and they like fruits and agricultural crops, and you can't kill them. I've tried every pesticide, and people say they can kill stink bugs, but you really, the best thing you can do is just suck them up with a shop back, and God, it smells horrible. They smell like cilantro, like a really thick cilantro when you smash them. <laughs> or if you spook them. Does everybody see a stink bug? That's what they look like. They look like little dinosaurs. Bastards. God, they're annoying. Before I remodeled my house, I might have had 500 in one room. There were wood windows, and they rotted out so you could crawl them. So we got we replaced all the windows. It's been great, but boy, it was like an atrium. As you can tell, I've had a long battle of stink bugs. I don't want to be a stink bug king. I wish they were gone. It's a horrible bug.
but they're kind of they're friendly you know they like to land on you so if you don't have anybody to talk to you can always talk to the stink bugs because they're just always hanging out oh this one's chill look at that oh hey little stink bug look at him he's just hanging out today and he, he left i guess the stink bugs are like really trying to figure out what they're going to do for the winter right now so couple weeks they'll be a little more like chill. I think bugs are figuring it out. Oh my god, your mom get a makeover! <laughs> Jeremiah is a lonely ranch hand. And he talked about how we need to be on the dating apps and we kind of needed a makeover for Jeremiah. But I think Jeremiah's ready to meet a girl to fall in love with and He's very emotional. Jeremiah's an emotional guy. He has a couple bad moments. We had seen a, a thing down at Tootsie's that was real bad. He was given a fake number and kind of blew up. I had to calm him down. Oh, see what I was saying there, your buddies? Look, that's a stink bug. Can you see it? Oh. Bye, little buddy. That was, that was good. That's good for Jeremiah. Stink bug flew in. He's like, yeah, Jeremiah needs all the help you can give him. Jeremiah Lowe, coming in hot. Here we go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> oh my God, I love it! Decided to take photos with Jeremiah today. He's ready. Ladies, look out. Let's go get dressed. Woo! Should I unbutton? Should I button? I don't know, I'm scared. Yes. Yes. You're talking to a chick, and she has an issue. Give me the listening face. Don't tilt. Don't do that tilt. No. Don't do that tilt. It tilts like me thinking. No. Lean forward a little bit. With your head, not your whole body. What's your name? Big D. I'm a very attractive, interesting female. What's my name? I understand now why models uh, got the makeup, got everything. Smiling and just always having a good time. You look great. You look great. You look great. You feel great. I have no makeup on, by the way. You still look great. Still look great. Yeah, you always look great. Ladies. See, all my photographers that have took pictures of me, see what happens. I don't have a <laughs> nice camera like you guys, but I can damn work an iPhone and some lights. You gotta get a different pose. Different pose. Here, look at me. Come here. More like. Oh, there you go, there you go. Kind of like that. Casual. Yeah, like you just at the bar, <clears throat> chilling, paying for drinks. Cowboy, get out of the shot. Cowboy nudging me up. <laughs> I get drunk, fool. I've tried enough heartache medication to know that I might need a little bit more help. And so when I need more help, I turn to the one and only gentleman, John. Tastes like a boogie woogie machine, baby. Makes me want to get down, get down. When it comes to you, when the knowledge brings it down from the gods of the heaven. About to drop some knowledge, y'all. What's your advice of getting over a breakup? When I get over a breakup, I go dance. I head to Boogie Woogie Machine. I'm on the floor. My feet don't ever stop. I'm drinking, I'm smiling, I'm not trying to think about who I broke up with. I'm not trying to think about how she tried to take my house and everything I own and everything that I wanted to be and my soul. I don't think about that. I move on. So that's what I suggest for you.
that's it for the show. It's time to let my good co-host Bruce go outside and do his thing and learn how to do it outside, not in the carpet, on the carpet, wherever they like doing it. He's learning how. Look at that face. Look at that face. Face. He's super chill. Oh, he just farted. Oh, God. Woo. Wow. All right, well, I got to go. Oh, my pants are any tighter, forget it. <laughs>